Oh, you yeah. want to know about my dream? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, actually, like in, in the dream, what it was was I just I, I was kind of standing there. It was, it was odd because most of my dreams, my I have now since I'm paralyzed, in my dreams my legs hurt. They feel like tree trunks, and I can't move, and I'm I'm in pain because I guess I'm dreaming because I'm in pain. But this time I was just standing there, and then a little a little ar around the way from me about. I'd say about 20 feet or so away to my left. You know, I, I was in a desertous area. There were like sand dunes a little. And to my left, there was a group of men gathered around a person who was standing up talking to them. And it was by firelight, because it was, it, was, it was almost nighttime, wasn't quite dark, but it was dark enough for a fire. And they had it going. And you could tell these men were listening to him intently. You know, so I was like, okay, well, this man's very important. And then also to my right was the crucifix setting up that I had had in my room, but it was, it was like life size. And I was sitting there and I'm like, okay, okay, what's going on, you know? And then suddenly the man, he was standing there and he was giving hand gestures. You could tell he was talking and saying something very important. And well, he had turned to me and he looked at me and he says, look, he pointed to the crucifix and he said, look, this was a man, a prophet, you know? He'd eat food, drink water, go to the bathroom just like every other man. He's not a god, you know, only a prophet. You know, just, you know, follow, follow God, not men. And then I woke up and then it wasn't so long after I woke up and gathered myself. Because I mean, right when he turned to me and talked to me and told me that, I knew right then and there it was the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then, I mean, I just, I woke up and then, like I said, I just, I had to gather myself to figure like, what just happened and, and that was real. Because at this time, I had been studying about Islam and everything, and I had learned the Shahada and, and other things, but I hadn't taken it yet. But then that time, I woke up and I just, right there by myself, I did it, you know? Yeah. And since then, I've been, I'd say for the first year and three or four months, I was just trying to study on memorizing Quran and, and, and you know, reading, and that was it. And never did I even think about understanding it. Because I never, because you know, as a non-Muslim reading it, there's a lot of stuff in there that you don't understand. And then I was searching for how to understand, then I found um, Ustaz Numan Ali Khan's taf tafsir videos. And they appealed to me very good. I mean, he, he speaks in an American accent, and he speaks, <laughs> it, 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 you know, it's, it's not only that, it's just he speaks to a younger audience, you know? And, you know, it just appealed to me. And then I noticed that as I was studying, uh, you know, surahs, and then I would study it, and at the same time, I would watch his tafsir videos and understand the ayahs I was talking about, and, what was going on at that time when it was revealed, you know, and what was happening, you know, to put the, I guess to put the um, eye out with the historicity where it's going on, you know, like where, like, where, when it was revealed, whether it was Mecca Surah or Madani revealed, and then it helped me just understand everything so much, and then it, it made my mind even stronger, you know, and then I just, I, I knew even more how certain I was, you know? And just, and people, I even, like someone had asked me on Twitter, like my cousin just said, you know, well, why do you believe in, in Muslim and all this? And he wanted a big explanation for me. And you know, I told him, I was like, because, you know, I believe in the prophethood of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I believe that his revelations were from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, and that's what I believe in my heart, and that's what I'm gonna follow. You know, and I and even if I didn't want to, you know, I I couldn't disbelieve. I I, I and I just try to remain steadfast in the salah. And of, of course everyone's mind goes up and down, but it's always there, you know. And I just have to just always have Vikr of Allah, you know, just always have, you know, every day as always, 
stuck for a little alhamdulillah you know and just I just stayed and being in this condition that I'm in it, it's not easy to stay satisfied and happy I can't do anything for myself and sometimes if I ask somebody to do something it'll take them quite a long time and and I was never a very patient person but you know after I became Muslim and I studied more and read I realized you know I have sabr now and I can wait and I can just I can calm myself down and just remember when I when they take it too long I just stuck for the law stuck for the law stuck for the law stuck for the law stuck